You know what I'm thinking, boys? I'm thinking I'm gonna turn a new leaf. You know, we made a lot of jokes on this channel from everything across the spectrum. But I think I've got a pretty big audience. I feel like I should be a good role model. So rather than making all those jokes I make and getting demonetized on YouTube, I think we take a clean approach. We just have good old-fashioned video gaming fun. We build our team, we play, and we have a blast. And you know what? There's tons of ways to be funny without making inappropriate, demeaning hey, yo, jokes. We can just have a great time, have a positive energy, and we don't have to stoop to that level. So I hope everybody's on board, and I can't wait for a great freaking video. Oh. All right, so you guys have seen our team before. And okay, now that they're gone, the YouTube demonetizers have gone. They've absolutely, they've absolutely, oh, they bet my ass over. They've literally bet me over and demonetized like four out of the last six videos. So I had to do that. I'm sorry, but tr trust me, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in equality. I don't believe in equality for anybody, bro. Literally nobody should get equal rights. Equal rights, equal fights is the only time I want equal rights. I will slap a hoe. Yeet! She wanna talk she wanna talk to me like that? You can talk that talk, you can catch these hands, boy. Equality for literally nobody. This is uh, I'm not even giving you favoritism. Literally nobody gets equal rights for anything ever. Literally <laughs> If you think for one second that I'm censoring one single thing that I ever say in my entire life, you're out of your mind. Now that we got that out of the way, let's actually start this video. I wonder if that really stumped them, though. Like, I wonder if I'm gonna get full monetization on this video. Because, you know, I get it. If I start a video out and I literally just stare at the camera and I go, I hate women, I wouldn't want to monetize that video either. Bro, imagine <laughs> you're Coca-Cola and you come to YouTube. You say, YouTube, here's $10 million. Run these ads, okay? And then you see this guy and it's like, Wait, Women, I hate women! Misogyny! And then like three seconds later, it's just this happy, cheery Coca-Cola ad. Like, I get it, okay? I get it. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And of course, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. They sell coins on every single platform. You can also directly buy players or training points. Buying limiteds and quick selling them is probably the safest route, so I recommend that. This is a significantly better deal than what EA is gonna offer you, and you can get 10% off when using the code MMG. Just use the link in the top of the description. This is a big tangent. This is Wheel of Months. It's episode three of the new season. We are one and one. We've got Joe Burrow, Nick Chubb, and Christian Okoye in the backfield, which is a big switch up from last season. We had a receiving back and a fast quarterback. Now I got a slow quarterback and a power back. We've got Christian Watson, who had a very clutch touchdown. Jerry Rice, who himself had a touchdown. And Justin Jefferson. I still have got a silver at left tackle, a trash right tackle, not the best left guard or right guard, and no tight ends at all. And I use like two tight ends. So that's that's a problem. Defensively, we did pick up Kyle Hamilton, who I think was a very good pickup. We've got Troy Palomalu, Darius Slay, Steve Atwater, and, and yeah, actually, now that I look at it, defense is actually dog shit. Uh, I've still got Cade York at kicker, who I'd very much like to get out of there, and Trenton Gill at punter. Last season, I felt the burn of having a silver punter because there was a moment where I needed to punt. So I may actually pick up a punter this time. It's Christmas Wheel of Mutt. My goal is to get you guys a Super Bowl on Christmas Day. I don't know if it's possible. Like, I, I obviously can't control that. If I just get flooded in the next two games, I'm out. So that would be it. I'm hoping I can play my best football and just make it all the way to the Super Bowl. Other than that, you guys know the rules to wheel them up. We got three wheel spins to add to this team. And we'll hop into our third game of the Christmas season. Ooh. This has so much potential, but it can also be very, very, very dog shit. Three packs, pack a punch. So I get to open three packs, and out of those three packs, I can pack a punch one player. And for anyone who's a true Wheel of Mutt casual, a pack a punch is the best version available of a player. And it just so happens there's an amazing pack in the store for this. There's the All Madden Boom Pack. I'm gonna open three of these, and I can pack a punch one player out of everything I pull. I am praying that I pack Steve Atwater. I want Steve. Steve Atwater. Steve Atwater is my number one player right here. Absolutely. Ooh. So, for example, if I wanted to, I could take 94 overall Justin Tucker as my one player from these three packs. That's actually really good. I just can't do that this early. I think I'm gonna have too many great options. I could take 94 Revis Island. And for the last one, oh, yo, wait a minute. Doesn't Montez sweat? Didn't he get, like, an insane card? Or am I thinking of somebody else? I might be thinking of someone else. Holy shit! No fucking way my pack-a-punch option is gonna be a non-all Madden player. Montez Sweat has a 94 overall right end from the Blitz promo. He gets edge threat for 2 AP. Holy shit. It's really gonna be Montez fucking Sweat. I'd be so shocked if there's a better option other than Montez Sweat. I'm gonna open one more 
more of these. Then I might go do a curveball pack. So Justin Tucker again, that's kind of unlucky. We get Dietrich Wise, who doesn't have a crazy other good option. And just don't give me Revis. 94 Saquon is really good. But I think Montez Sweat is way more important for this team. All right, my last pack, I'm going to do a pro elite pack. I'm just going to get weird with it. I could have gone AKA too, but Montez Sweat is so good. I'm going for a curveball. So, so he's not going to have a good option. We do get a zero chill player in our pro elite pack. Damn, that's just a good pull on its own. But I have to go for the pack a punch here. Neither of those are good options. Andre James is shit. And a harvest player could be good. Alex Singleton is, is shit, honestly. So it's either Justin Tucker, Revis Island, or Montez Sweat. That was all from the first pack, which is actually crazy. I think I have to go Montez Sweat. There's only one on the auction. Oh, I'm buying it right now. I can't even, I can't even stop and think about this. There's only one on the auction house. That timing was actually really clutch. 94 overall Montez Sweat. What a massive, crucial upgrade. My D-line is dog water, and he's 6'6", 260. 90 block shed, 94 finesse, 92 speed. There are very few players who can get to the quarterback that fast, especially because you get two AP edge threat. That is so good. He probably gets other good abilities too. Let's see what else he gets. Defensive rally is apparently really good. I have heard of people using this before, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna go edge threat and just leave it like that. Under pressure is actually really good too. I'm gonna do edge threat under pressure. I think this Montez Sweat is, is gonna be such a demon down there. I'm actually willing to give him four AP. Technically, I should move him to right outside linebacker, I think. I'll just make sure that he gets substituted in when he needs to be in. Blitz Montez Sweat on our first wheel spin. In insane first upgrade. Let's keep that streak up. All right, our first wheel spin. You can't ask for much more than that. Let's see what we got on our second. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, I see a big one. Oh, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. 10 times re-rolls is not on the wheel that much. I just get it all the time. I think it's on the wheel only twice. Either way, I will take it. This is one of my favorite ones to get. And there's an 85 plus overall zero chill player pack. We're gonna get 10 of these. We can take one player out of that 10. We're guaranteed to get somebody who fills a massive void on this team. So let's just get after it. Juwan Jennings technically could be my best pull, but if Juwan Jennings was my best pull, then I'd be having a real bad day. All right, so we're looking for that other animation, which gets us a 92. This is not the other animation. I did technically say I wanted a punter, so that's two right there. Ryan Stonehouse, I would actually say, is who I would add to my team if it ended right now. Pack three is a 90 overall right tackle. Makai Becton, that is an inc Oh my god, he's 6'7", 364. Holy shit. Charles Cross, Marquez Calloway, no thank you. That was pack number six, so this takes us to seven. Seven right here. I think Makai Becton, if I don't pull something absolutely insane, it's gonna be Makai Becton. You can pull the 95s in this, though. Like, it's literally possible to pull the 95s. Devin Lloyd! Fuck, he's actually a really good option. My current middle linebacker is 80 overall Bruce Irvin. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough choice. I've got two packs left. This is our second to last. No crazy animation. We get 85 Chase Edmonds, so he's not gonna be it. And our 10th and final reroll. So right now, it's between Makai Becton, Devin Lloyd. We get no new animation. Darn it. Oh, no! This is gonna be such a hard choice. Amani or a warrior 62205 91 speed 91 zone in fairness when i had that amani or a warrior he got lit up dude he was ass honestly he was so ass he's not even on my radar we just added montez sweat that's a massive defensive void filled let's make an offensive adjustment we're gonna add makai becht into the squad here he's gonna be our new right tackle we'll most likely be able to give him a good ability to hopefully he gets like edge protector um so then at left tackle we can put quinn miners he'll be better than Rashid Walker, most likely. Let's see if Makai Becton can get Edge Protector for halfway decent. It's three AP. That's ah, that's aggressively expensive. I don't think it's worth it at that price. All right, final wheel spin. I kind of want a tight end here. Another good corner would be really important too, but I, I kind of want to tight end a little bit more. Oh, it's good, but not great. All right, so I can take any 90 overall player from the team this lands on or worse, but it can be... 90 on the dot, and it's gonna come from the- Ooh! I thought that was gonna be Baltimore Ravens. It's not. This is gonna be a player from the Rams. There's a 90 overall Jackie Slater, who is a right tackle. I could very well move him to left tackle, so that's already a good option. And then it starts to go down in overall, but there is 89 overall Tyler Higby. That might be really fun to use. Tyler Higby, that's just way cooler, bro. Who knows Jack- Like, raise your hands. Show a hand. Okay, show a hands. Who knows Jackie Slater? Now, who knows Tyler Higby? Tyler Higby, 89 overall tight end. He's 6'6", 
Gibbs, 257, 82 speed. His route running and everything is great. And his run blocking is pretty good too. Sorry, Pat Fryermuth, but I'm gonna have to go Tyler Higby on this one. So Joe Burrow will be handing the ball off to Nick Chubb and Miles Sanders. He will be throwing to Justin Jefferson, Jerry Rice, and Christian Watson, as well as finding Tyler Higby. That is the beauty of Madden Ultimate Team. All right, gentlemen, my offense looks good. My defense looks good. I would have liked to maybe upgrade corner. I think right now my main concern is my linebackers and the fact that I have no kicker, but that was a decision I made on my own, so I gotta live with it. Let's mess with these abilities so that Montez Sweat can get fully gassed up. So I'm just gonna take tip drill off of Sauce Gardner, and I took Acrobat off of Troy Palomalu. I think Kyle Hamilton and Sauce Gardner might be better, so I think Palomalu is gonna have to take a back seat for now. Montez Sweat with under pressure edge threat, unstoppable force. Micah Parsons with the same thing, and then Kyle Hamilton with universal coverage, tip drill, and crusher. And of course, we need our challenge wheel. It's been clutch for us where we needed it. Let's see what it's got today. I think that's gonna be four passing touchdowns. Have I ever gotten this? It's so weird how the wheel spins work. That's been on here since the start of Madden 23. I don't think I've ever landed on it until right now. Four passing touchdowns. Getting four touchdowns in a game is honestly a lot for me. So all of them being passing could be difficult. Ooh, he's got the 94 T-Law. Okay, it's not a total God squad though. So I've got nothing to complain about. Let's just play our best game here. We're guessing pass. Oh shit, if he runs, I'm in trouble. I'm in so much trouble. Wow. Actually a good tackle. Thank God. Montez Sweat and Micah off the other side. That's just so aggressive. Play action. Pow! <laughs> Who else? Montez Sweat. Second and 16. Oh, he does hand this off. Kyle Hamilton. Decent tackle. If I'm going to run even 6-1, I kind of have to have him here. I've got this. I've got that! You know what? That's fine. You make enough of those, you will make a mistake. And now he's running the ball. Because no one has built that insanely differently. That they would do all that shit. And then... Oh! Montez! Wait, was that Sauce? <laughs> oh my god, I forgot I blitzed Sauce Gardner. I thought that was a run, so I blitzed Sauce, and it ended up paying off. All right, I'm, I'm guessing pass, and I'm sending the fucking the demon squad at him right now. Good ball! And I need a better hit there. We're going pass pro on pretty much everybody here. Yup, good call. Over the middle, I've got it. He's got nothing. Oh no. <laughs> Hell of a- That was Montez Sweat in coverage! I'm sending a man blitz. Am I on this? Oh, I'm just under it! Fuck, Hunter Henry has made some clutch catches today. Fourth and seven. He picks it up. Now it's probably a run play. I'm gonna go on Atwater. Oh, actually a jet sweep. Oh my god, we completely bottled that. How am I gonna get four passing touchdowns if you're chewing the clock before the- I don't know how they would do anything to prevent that, but it would be nice if you could somehow prevent it. All right, so this is verticals again, right? Let's pick them off. I'm gonna lurk him with Parsons right here. No, no, no. He's got a touchdown. He's got a touchdown on two different angles. <gasps> Tries to dive over the top. Doesn't get it. Got a pretty serious run play here. I'm run committing. Oh, we're there. What was that? Nice movement. Honestly, I can't even complain. Wow. All right. Four minutes and two seconds later. We need four passing touchdowns. So we've got to move down this field quickly and efficiently. Two touchdowns a half. That's the goal, right? And I get the ball a half. So let's have Nick Chubb put us in a, in a good spot here. Nice block, Okoye. Oh, Nick Chubb. Oh, shit. I clicked the wrong button for Nick Chubb. Nice start, Nick Chubb. Just simple, simple pass. I think Justin Jefferson's open. Why the fuck are there four people blocking nobody? Oh my god, are you kidding? That's where Quinn Miners is. Okay, I'll give him the smallest benefit of the doubt there. Justin Jefferson just ruined his lineman. Or who was that? Oh, it was Bradley Chubb. Ooh, good blocks. All right, let's go no huddle. We got to get there quick if we want to get this challenge wheel done. <sighs> simple, simple throw. There's our boy Higby. Run him over. Big play slay goes down. Do I got the time to throw this to Justin Jefferson? Let's see. Uh, I could have thrown either. I think I could have thrown the corner out too. I don't know if I'm be able to throw two touchdowns in this first half. He does not see Higby at all. I thought for sure that's what he was going to guard. Higby! Mm, maybe I could have thrown Higby, but that's our boy Jerry Rice. Go no huddle. Go Jerry. Oh, I made it good. It was a nice catch, I guess. We're seven for seven with Joe Shiesty right now. Probably good that that was a bad ball. The field goal is a smart decision, but I gotta go for this. I need my challenge wheel. I don't need my challenge wheel, but I want my challenge wheel. Let's put it that way. We're going for all of it. Christian Watson in the middle. He's there. Is he? He might not be. Shit! Why are you? 
I sent a three-man rush and they flew on me. Fuck, man. It is just not going my way right now. Nice tackle, Irvin. Ooh, take him down. We're going to base a line here. We just got to go get the QB. Is that play action? You psycho. <laughs> Fourth and 15. Dude, this is like blockable too. That's okay. Uh, is it a punt dot? Is that out of balance? Oh my God, there's a shit punt. Spectacular defense. We've been given a chance at redemption, but our challenge wheel is going to be tough. DPI. <laughs> <laughs> I could have thrown RB really easily, but I kind of thought he was trying to bait me. I overthought it. I got MM bailed out. I definitely won't be complaining about it. Oh, Nick Chubb's going to be so open because he bailed out. Oh, go right through him. You know he's gonna. He'll go through two. Oh, shit. Three seconds on the clock. I have to go for it from the eight. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Right there. He's there. Jake Chubb. no time. Let's go. Fucking gritty on him, bro. I can't believe I just threw that. He's in goal line here. I don't really want to run this out of goal line. I'm just going to send Jefferson inside. I'm a block, Higby. There he is. Ooh, beauty. If I'm in a scenario where I can get four passing touchdowns, he's going to rage quit. Unless we score back and forth really quick. I don't know. We'll have to see here. Look at Jerry Rice, dude. Justin Jefferson is so open. Wait, stay in bounds. Literally a touchdown if you stay in bounds, bro. I'm heaving one up to Nick Chubb. Oh, Kyle Hamilton, why are you celebrating? That was almost literally so money. Take Higby. Shit. There's Justin Jefferson on just a curl. Kind of saw them dropping back, but it is fourth and five. So this is a little sketch. I think Higby is just open on a seam. Oh shit, he just switched. Nick Chubb? Oh shit. Hell of a play. I fully panicked. I fully panicked right there. I don't know about our challenge wheel, but I'm more worried about just winning the game. Yeah, he's been playing a little passive. There's a big hit from Micah. Hey, last time he had the ball, we absolutely... F Dude, he couldn't move it at all, and he had a punt. See if we can do that again. I'm on everything. He doesn't have anything. Okay. I like that sauce! I didn't think he had it. All right, easy pitch. Smart action. Actually, a smart pitch that time. I gained about 10 yards on that. Great defense. He's on big play slay here. I think I can throw Nick Chubb. Oh, he's doing this again where he's not playing. Dude, that's dumb. Nice. Is he playing this time? He is not. This is dumb. I don't want a poverty touchdown, bro. Fucking pick up your controller. This is dumb. I'm down to the one. Jerry Rice. I got a motion, Jerry Rice. Are you there, Jerry? Uh. I don't know. Jerry might have been there. Second and goal. We got to get Jerry Rice a touchdown. Can Jerry Rice get this? Wait. Wait. Keep going. Keep going. Jerry. Yes. Let's go. Two straight games with the Jerry Rice upgrade. And a two-point conversion here gives us a win. I mean, I don't want to say a win, but a, a close to what would be a win. We'll go Jefferson here. I don't see how he guards this. Hey. Your peer has been kicked for excessive griefing. All right, well, that's a bummer because I felt like if that game fully got played, I had a small chance at my challenge wheel. But that's okay, because number one, we get a win, which is amazing. So we lock in our players. We now move to two of five wins with one loss, and I'm going to get a rage quit wheel spin. Now, it's hard to say if he actually rage quit or if he just left his Xbox for some reason. You know, he really had to rope one out and then just forgot. His girlfriend really wanted him to clap her cheeks. Uh, his boyfriend really wanted his cheeks clapped. Well, I don't discriminate. <sighs> But since it inhibits my ability to complete the challenge wheel, I think the rage quit wheel is fair. So we're going to spin the rage quit wheel. Whatever we get here will be a little bonus to that win right there. It looks like it's a jackpot. Oh, 50k choice. So I get 50,000 coins to spend on one player. I don't know. My left tackle was really shoddy there. But you know what I think would be like a really clutch upgrade? Actually, you know what? How much is Troy Anderson? How much does Troy Anderson cost? 70k for Troy Anderson. Oh, I was going to get a kicker. But Justin Tucker is literally 54k. He's so close. I think we go left tackle. I think not worrying about this next episode would be nice. Because I got ruined in that game. Like, I was winning the game semi-handedly. But what? Wow, that pass rush was giving me a lot of trouble. Looks like we could get 89 Munoz for 38-6. And that's the only 89 overall. So Munoz is the move. Beautiful 89 overall Anthony Munoz. Moves us to an 85 overall team, which is very nice. So now my left and right tackle are good. We also have one more upgrade for Mr. Jerry Rice. I bet you thought I'd forget. You know what, damn it? I probably was going to forget. But I'm looking at him now, so I got to go do it. A now 84 overall Jerry Rice, even though there's a poverty touchdown. But I'm going to take everything I can get, especially with Ed Reed last season who I couldn't upgrade.
upgrade. And because I'm actually galaxy brain, I'm gonna put on the zero chill unis, which I really wanted to do before. Oh, shoot. They only give you zero chill home unis, which I just realized. All right, gentlemen, things are coming together here. Two and one in this season. Montez Sweat was a huge addition. Micah Parsons and him make an amazing duo. Kyle Hamilton, Palomalu. My corners need work. My D-line needs work. My linebackers need work. And then offensively, my guards are kind of shit. I need some depth at tight end, and I'd like another star wide receiver. Also, Nick Chubb. I'm very meh on Nick Chubb. Overall, though, gentlemen, a very big win today. And I'm excited to see you guys in the next episode where hopefully we can take us to three and one. I'll tell you guys, Dan, I hope you're having an amazing December. I love you. You're so handsome. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.